In this video, I want to compare SteamOS and BuzzitOS, how different they are. Let's see. On top, we have Steam Deck OLED, of course, with Steam OS, and on the bottom, ROG Ally X with Bazite OS. From the first look, you can see that they are not that different. Top menu and panels, they look exactly the same, but on the bottom, there are some changes. But bottom menu is completely different. Instead of Steam logo and menu, we have Xbox logo and also menu. Side buttons options select and back on Bazite OS I like more because of colors. Also, everything is much smaller on Bazite OS only because of 1080p screen. Let's click left button and see if we can spot any difference. And it looks exactly the same. No difference. Same animation and same sound. I must admit on Steam Deck sound quality is much 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 better. More bass and overall sound is nicer, maybe because of original SteamOS. But this doesn't make sound on RG Alley bad by no means. It is actually very very good, on Steam Deck is just slightly better. Let's open menu and see what do we have here. It looks way smaller on ROG LX because of this 1080p screen. And I don't think you can adjust resolution in the settings at all. Basically it is what it is. And on Steam Deck it is perfectly covers every inch of 800p screen. We have all the same settings, home, library, store, friends, chat, media, download, settings, power. Let's go on settings and see if we can spot any difference. You can see much more again on RG Alley. I can see up to in-game. When on Steam Deck, I can see only up to keyboard. Big difference in my opinion. System looks exactly the same. I just have developer mode on on Steam Deck, but on RG Alley, I think it might screwed up my decky loader. So I'm keeping it off. Now let's go to security. It looks exactly the same. Now let's go to internet. Exactly the same. Notifications and exactly the same, just we can see slightly more, that's it. Display settings and again, exactly the same. Let's go to audio and audio, exactly the same. Bluetooth is the same. It just switched off on my RG Alley, but it is exactly the same. I will speed up the rest, but as you already understood, Bazite OS is perfect clone of Steam OS. Differences are just very minor, some logos, some buttons, that's it. If we'll go to settings of any game, again, it's exactly the same, just a little bit smaller on ROG Alley. Let's now open properties of the same game Cyberhook and see if we can spot any difference. General looks exactly the same, I'm not sure why it's 4K on my Steam Deck, maybe that's why it was lagging. Let's see what version of Proton Layer we have on SteamOS versus Bazite OS. On SteamOS latest 9-2, when on Bazite OS 9.0-3. And I don't think it makes that much difference on Bazite OS, on ROG LAX. Games are still run really really well. Let's check updates. And exactly the same. Installed files exactly the same. And everything else is exactly the same. And now let's check side panels and see if there are any difference. They look exactly the same. On Bazite OS, again, just a little bit smaller. And that's it. Friends. Oh, I have a friend. Quick settings. And quick settings looks exactly the same. Let me scroll a little bit on Steam OS. And yeah, there is no difference. And now let's go to performance. And performance looks kind of the same, but it's a little bit different. Only because RG Alley X has 120Hz VRR screen and 30 watts TDP and this panel must be adjusted or adapted for RG Alley X. Let me switch on TDP limit and as you can see on RG Alley X we have 30 watts maximum and on Steam Deck 15 watts only, so it was adapted. But on RG Alley X we cannot adapt frequency of our GPU manually. Only because in Steam Deck we have custom made AMD GPU, while in ROG Alley X we have only standard Z1 Extreme. And SteamOS on Steam Deck was perfectly tuned towards that chip. That is why Steam Deck can go comfortably down to 3 watts. When ROG Alley X, not so much. Maybe like 7 is a limit or 10. By toggling this, we can enable VRR. 
And on SteamOS there is no such option, only because that option was added manually by developers of Bazite OS. And also you can notice that you can utilize all 120Hz RG LX screen. On Steam Deck we can adjust manually to any FPS you would like. And on RG LX it is working exactly the same. The rest tabs they are not that interesting, but they are exactly the same. And the last one, which is very important in my opinion, is Deki Loader. And what's interesting is exactly the same, but on Bazite OS, Deki Loader can be installed straight away after you will install Bazite OS. Basically, Deki Loader is built in in Bazite OS, while on Steam OS, it is not. You have to install it manually, and it can disappear if you update your Steam OS, it will be just gone, and you'll have to reinstall it. Lots of pain, and this is probably one of the most important tools on Steam Deck. You can control your saturation level, you can control mods in a game, you can control Bluetooth. There's so much in this, you just need to try it if you never tried it, of course. And as I believe SteamOS or Valve, they just don't like this and they're trying to kill it. But unfortunately, or maybe lucky us, there is no luck so far. If we'll click on power menu, it is slightly different. On Steam Deck, I can restart Steam Deck or restart just Steam, while on Bazite OS, I can just restart or sign out. There is no restart my Steam Bazite OS, so this means that Steam is not part of Bazite OS. It just built in and it is just trying to look like Steam OS, but it's kinda not, and it's kinda yes because of Linux. Right now you can see I'm in desktop mode on all devices and I cannot control mouse on Bazite OS at all. And this is very bizarre because on SteamOS there's no problem. I'll have to utilize basically a touch screen. You see I'm clicking every single button, nothing is happening at all. To be honest, this is kind of bummer. I think you cannot play games in this mode. I haven't tried, but I think you can. And here you go on Steam Deck, Steam OS, you can control mouse so easily. But why it's not working on Bazite OS, this baffles me. And on Steam OS, it works very comfortable. Basically, Steam Deck is like fine-tuned device for anything. If you want to work, if you want to play, it's perfect in my opinion. And as you can see, I have Google Chrome installed on my Steam Deck. And because I like to watch some movies on the go, OLED screen looks nice. And now you'll see why Bazite OS is not perfect. My RG Ally just went to sleep and I cannot wake it up. Nothing's happening. Whatever you press, power button, nothing. As you can see, nothing is working. I tried my best and the only way to make your device work just to do a hard reset, hold the power button. And this is very, very annoying sometimes. You see, now it's off and now we can just power it on back. Let's see which device will boot faster. SteamOS, Bazite, Steam Deck, or RG Ally X. I pressed power button exactly in the same moment, and let's see, I wonder. On RG Ally X, we already see ASUS logo, but I remember I felt vibration when I pressed Steam Deck button. We should see it loading in a few seconds. Come on, Steam Deck, come on, come on. Yes, you see, starting. And I wonder which one will be quicker. On RG LX, you have Z1 Extreme processor, 8 core, 16 threads, which must be way quicker than Steam Deck's 6 core, 12 threads CPU. And it's hard to tell, it is still loading. I like how on Bazite OS we have big Steam logo and small Bazite. It's quite funny. And now we have big Bazite. Okay, oh, Bazite was faster. And Steam Deck, come on, come on, Steam Deck, you can make it. Yes. As you can see, they both are slow, but on Bazite OS, uh, it was slightly faster, and that's it. And now let's open Cyberhook game in the same time. It's quite easy to run game, and wait, oh no, <laughs> I cannot do this because of the same Steam profile. Uh, I totally forgot. Well, one at a time. But I think it should be almost the same speed, no difference. And as you can see, on Bazite OS, everything looks exactly like on Steam OS. I don't see any difference at all. Let's go to performance tab and adjust our overlay and see how it will look. It works kinda almost exactly the same, just way smaller, only because of 1080p screen. Let's see now if we can adjust our FPS. And... wait, wait... It did not adjust our FPS correctly. 
while I set 48 Hz in the top, I'm at 92, 99 FPS, this is not correct. Well, this adjustment is not working on Bazet OS. What a shame. But why our FPS is lower? It was 120, I'm not sure. It is very bizarre. <laughs> Let's try to disable VRR, maybe this will fix the problem. No, <laughs> it's still the same. I don't know. Let's see if this works. If we'll lower our wattage, we'll drop our FPS. And first, it's not instant, it's still the same as before. And once we exit, and yes, you see, we at 12 FPS. Luckily this works, but downside, we can go minimum to 7 watts. When on Steam Deck, minimum 3 watts. On Steam Deck, you can get up to 10 hours of battery life, when on RG Allo X, maybe like 5, 6, this is maximum. And now let's check the same things on SteamOS. Okay, we in the game, everything quite smooth. First, let's toggle our overlay and see if it's the same as on Bazaar 2 S. Well, it does look kinda the same to me. Just slightly bigger. I like this size more, to be honest. Let's see if we can adjust our FPS by toggling frame limit. Let's set somewhere around 47. It will still be smooth enough, but it will save so much battery life. And it went straight away to 47, as you can see. It works just flawlessly. And yes, it is very, very smooth. Yeah, it's so perfect. I like it on Steam Deck. Let's adjust it to 30. And uh, yeah, 30 FPS, as you can see. Now let's adjust our TDP limit. And uh, it goes straight away to, you see, 30 FPS. Straight away, without even thinking. Not like on Umbazai to us. And at 7 watts, we have 25, 23 FPS. On Bazaar OS, we had 11, 12, 15. Mm, same settings, 720p on both. But what is interesting, you can go even below 7 watts. Let me show you. 3 watts. It probably will be stutter mess. But you see, in some indie games, 3 watts is more than enough. And you will have 10 hours plus battery life. I really, really, really like this about Steam Deck. And we can go back to 15. And look, we have now decent FPS. 68, 65. I like RG Alley X, but I love Steam Deck. Also on RG Alley X on Bazaar OS, we have third party menu. And this is quite genius in my opinion. We can control so many things here. We can control RGB. Check this out. We can go rainbow. We could go like any like pools or Duality, solid, pools, or you can completely switch it off. This is what I like to do more, to be honest. And you can have so many options here, controllers, Xbox, Steam controller, DualSense. You can even disable touchscreen. And if we'll go to settings of this app, we have even more controls. Check this out. And of course, you can control TDP manually or custom. There are some presets. This is quite an amazing app, I must admit so many options whoever created this app well done well done and now the most important part sleep and wake so i send to sleep during the game and let's wake it up come on let me just press the button and see if it will come yes but we're not at full fps yet yep and we're back and let's go back to sleep and let's wake it up And we again 30 FPS, 40, 60, 70, 90. Yep, it takes a few seconds, but yeah, it is working. And now the same thing on Steam Deck. Go to sleep. Okay, and it's asleep. Okay, and let's wake it up. And, and it's awake. With the FPS yet. No, yep, and we're back. It's exactly the same, I think. And go to sleep. And wake up. Let's see. Come on. Come on. What is interesting, it has straight away very smooth FPS. When on Bazaar OS, it kind of slightly behind. It goes from low FPS to high again. The difference is not critical at all. It's just slightly different, in my opinion. And that's it. So what do you prefer more, SteamOS or Bazaar OS? Write in the comments below. Hit like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.